Some of my friends have been asking me how I study for poker these days, and how I use a solver, and how I, I train with a solver. So I thought today I would record one of my study sessions and uh, show everybody how it's done. Uh, now, just a disclaimer, I'm not an expert. I'm still learning myself, uh, still learning poker, uh, and you know, still learning how to use these solvers. Now, my regular game is uh, 25 no limit on ignition zone. That's a you know fast fold six max game. So it doesn't really make sense for me to spend a lot of money on an expensive solver. Instead, uh, I'm using GTO Plus, uh, which is only about 75 bucks, made by the same people who made Flopzilla, and uh, it's fantastic. It does everything that I need it to do. Uh, so I like to do uh, like a hand analysis, uh, at least like once a day. Um, I'll go through my hand history, uh, usually from the the session from the night before, and you know pick out uh, a flop at random. Uh, I do like to pick ones where I may have uh, lost some money. Uh, those tend to be the most informative. Sometimes I can catch myself making a mistake. Let's see. All right, and this uh, this is a good one. Uh, has me, you know, raising with a marginal hand uh, and getting a, you know, pretty disastrous flop for it. Um, you have all all low cards. So yeah, let's let's walk through that action. Uh, all right, so. I'm in the hijack, and I open it with uh, Queen Jack offsuit. Uh, villain calls me with pocket fours. Everybody else folds. Uh, comes to the flop. Um, I I did not continuation bet. I just checked it. The opponent bet about half pot. I called it. I uh, hit my queen on the turn. I check again. Opponent bets a full pot. I call it. Uh, River brings in the one card straight for the ace. So I check it. Opponent checks. He wins the pot. All right. Now let's stick this in the solver and see what it recommends. All right. So first got to pop in our ranges. Um, so first one for out of position player. We're going to need my the hijack raise first in range. Um, let's see, it's right here. For uh, and let me make sure just to verify, make sure it does have the the hand that I'm playing, so I don't need to adjust it. And yeah, we've got Queen Jack in here, um, half of them. I don't actually raise Queen Jack that often from the hijack, uh, just uh, every once in a while. And then let's put in the calling range uh, for the hijack RFI coming from the cutoff and uh, yeah he's definitely got all the pocket fours in there so let's, uh, let's put in the board it was a three of clubs two of diamonds and a four of clubs all right let's build the tree See our starting pot, be dollar eighty-five. Effective stacks, I am the effective stack at twenty-four fifteen. Uh, the rake here at ignition, it's five percent, and caps at two dollars. Uh, for the decision tree, uh, I always like doing the advanced, uh, get a little more options here. Um, the default bet, I like just going to sixty-six for both players. Uh, so if nothing specified, it's going to use a two-third bet. Um, custom settings for the flop. Okay, for uh, let's see, for two bets left, get the money in smoothly. I always like keeping this option on. Um, don't donk. Uh, this w I use this uh, if I was not the preflop aggressor, and I'm going to be checking 100% of my range. Uh, it's good to let the solver take that into account. To, to make sure your strategy matches that. Uh, but we were the preflop aggressor, so the preflop aggressor, 
So we are going to have a, a leading range here. Um, so I'm not going to enable that. Um, but we will go all in if push is less than 120. It's not really relevant for this hand, uh, but I like this option. Um, OK, I'm going to do some custom bet sizing for myself. Uh, I always like doing 33%, um, 66%, uh, and 120. So it's either you know small bet, medium bet, and my big over bet. Um, we're going to put that here in our leading range for all streets. And uh, keep the 66% for any check raises. Uh, for the opponent, uh, he was using a half pot and a full pot bet size. So I'm going to make those the only option that the solver has. Uh, we'll just assume villain is only using those. All right, I think we're good. We can build the tree. And uh, you can see it started building the tree here, uh, but you know all decisions are equal as far as it knows so far. We need to run the solver. Um, I'm going to do max accuracy uh, at 0.1 percent, and let's run the solver. <laughs> All right, it's finished, so let's take a look. All right, so it, uh, I gave the unit three different bet sizes, um, and I checked, uh, looks like the, that's probably my first mistake, um, with the queen of clubs here, the two over cards, uh, you know, with my backdoor club draw, uh, it's it's betting, it's continuation betting uh, with uh, with an over bet. Looks like a lot of the time. Um, all right, so I mean, I I looks like I, I lost some equity there. Um, I mean, you know, they have the fours, but they're not gonna have the fours all the time. Um, looks like in the range I should be betting. Um, so yeah, that's that's first mistake for me. Uh, but uh, I mean, at least some of the time. Uh, it looks like I am going to check uh, the Queen of Clubs, Jack of Hearts, but it's like, you know, a few percent of the time. Uh, but that is what I did, so let's see what the rest of the tree says. Um, oh, so it looks like for like the rest of my range, I'm. it looks like I'm checking almost everything. Uh, going to be betting with, uh, you know, some of my draws, some of my nutted hands. Uh, but uh yeah so this flop you know missed my range pretty hard uh you know i've got you know i've got a bunch of high cards uh i have a few of the sets not very many uh i'm not raising a lot of twos and threes there um ace five and four five you know it's uh ace five yeah but you know four five not very often um and the hands that i'm going to be making this the continuation bets looks like are, you know, most of the nuts uh, and, you know, some of these flush draws, uh, backdoor flush draws. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, let's take a look. Uh, if, he, if I do check to him, looks like opponent's going to be wanting to bet. Never use the big bet. He's going to be using his half pot bet for everything. Uh, he's going to bet at least some of the time with uh, all of his hands. Uh, nearly all of his hands are going to be checking here, uh, except for the fours. The fours are going to be betting every time. Uh, so it looks like opponent was playing that uh, perfectly. On the turn, we had the Queen of Hearts. All right, with Queen of Heart lands. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. We need to do uh, this half pot bet. There we go. 
All right. When the Queen of Heart lands, uh, looks like I should be checking nearly all of my hands. Uh, making a small bet with uh, some of my flush draws, it looks like. I'm making these small bets. Yeah, we're doing it with, with some of the flush draws. Uh, but, uh, you know, these paired queens are just going to be checking. So that looks like that's fine. Uh, if check two, uh, he's going to check it behind for a lot of these hands. Looks like uh, Forza, you know, is definitely going to want to be betting. And uh, looks like he's going to prefer the larger size, the bot size, the bot size bet uh, uh, for a lot of that time. Um, it's, you know, it's almost never checking that. All right, and then we got the five of spades. Oh, I got to change this to his bet. There we go, and then I just called it. All right, and on this river, Queen Jack's checking every time. Um, yeah, we've just got a bluff catcher here. Uh, looks like we're definitely betting with the nuts and end of our sixes here um, looks like we'll be using our ace high straights as bluff catchers uh, we'll bet you know, with uh, with the smaller ones it looks like um, and uh, fours is going to be checking behind too uh, looks like he bets with uh, been with a lot of hands here. Uh, I guess most of these are the nuts. He's bluffing with uh, some of these middling uh, cards that you know are going to have no showdown value. Uh, but for his only showdown value, he's going to check that behind. Um, you know, I'm sure it's very worried with the uh, with the ace since you know I have seven aces in my range. All right, so not not really that interesting of a hand. Uh, Nobody made any like big mistakes, um, except for I could be a little more aggressive continuation betting that with the uh, with my backdoor club draw. Uh, but it is a very interesting flop, uh, and so the next thing I like to do after I you know see how I play that specific hand uh, is this other great feature in GTO Plus, which is play against the solution. So I'm going. Uh, this is going to give me random hands in my range, and we're going to play down from flop to the river, and it's going to stop me whenever I'm making uh, you know, an EV mistake. Uh, I'm going to be out of position in this hand. Uh, let's do it. Queen 10 suited. Uh, we're going to check that. And it's a check fold. Let's uh let's speed that up a bit. Uh, King ten. We do have the flush draw. I don't think it matters though. I think we're still going to check fold it. Yeah. Oh no, it does want me to to start bluffing with this. Uh, let's see. EV for betting. Yeah. Okay. We'll do a small bet. You get check raise, now we can fold. Okay, great. Um, Queen Jack, we're going to check that. Yeah, a lot of my hands are going to be a check fold, I think. All right, King Jack, okay, we now know that's going to be a semi bluff. Uh, and we're going to keep barreling, I think, with a bigger bet size. Nope, never mind. Uh, okay, I should just be checking and trying to realize my equity. Nope, not going to get there. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's actually a huge mistake to call here. I need to just be folding. Okay. Uh, 
let's see, it's my ace. We're going to check it. We're going to call. No, this should be a fold two. Alright, king queen. Uh, I think that was a bet. Now we're going to check it. Now we're going to check again and fold. Alright, are these sixes? Actually, I like, like these sixes with this board a lot. Um, he's king. Let's bet with that. Let's bet again. I would want either the big bet or a check. I mean, the Eevee's real close here, but uh, yeah, let's go for the big bet. He's two. Oh, yeah, that's pretty decent. He's three. Oh, this is actually a great hand. Do a big bet. He's two. is another great hand. Uh, the king jack. Yeah, like the big bet size. Check bold. Okay, so it looks like he's only betting all of these aces. Oh, maybe we should realize. Should I turn that a bluff catcher? All right, that was a call. Uh, aces, I think that was a check. Uh, let's protect our checking range a bit. Yeah, there we go. Uh, five's fantastic. Let's do a big bet. I think we can keep betting. Alright. Uh, so, uh... So yeah, this is usually what I do. I will just pick a random hand, uh, sort of see how I did, judge what my opponent did, uh, explore the optimal solutions for the different parts of the range, and then play here against a solution for a bit, like uh, do some drills, uh, usually until I stop getting corrected, and, uh, and then move on to... Uh, do another hand another day. Alright, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Okay.